great philosophers of the past are dead meat. Yes, great masters, great people that in history has made a name. They are dead meat. They are not here living. You cannot base you on them. You have to live you in a way that's best for all. I'm not interested in some dead fucking philosopher or some dead person that wrote, wrote a book. I mean, I even hijack the message of Jesus if I have to. I'll hijack every message on earth, make it my own and live it for real. Show that it is possible that the human race could be better than it believe it is. How, who the fuck has made you believe that you're apparently so fucking weak and evil? Don't you have any self-respect? Suggest that you find out who you are. Study self-honesty, self-forgiveness, writing yourself to freedom. Study what is possible. As a person, study your fellow man that is here on earth right now. They're alive. The dead fuckers on the other side, they're not alive. They've been a lie. If you end up as the lie, you're going to have a little bit of problem. This little bit of problem you can't fix. Because you're not equal to how the problem was started through acceptances and allowances. That's why in self-forgiveness you say aloud to hear, I forgive myself that I have accepted and allowed myself to be limited by my own beliefs. I endeavor to correct myself and to place myself within the context of this physical reality, equal and one as what is here so that all and everything may have the best that they can have in a lifetime from birth to death. I mean, wouldn't you like that for you and your children? Always in your grandchildren? Then you better be the change that make it possible. Study Equal Life Foundation. Study Destiny. Study Equal Money. Educate yourself. Get rid of the bullshit in that round thing on top of your corpus, your head. Get rid of the noise it makes. Because that's where your brain is being washed by the bullshit of this reality through energy transfers that you are submitting and accepting from television, from education, from religion, from everything. You are the one that's feeding the bullshit images into your imagination so you can become this imaginary self which is ego, not real. Reality is physical. It operates all the time. The functions in your physical body that is going on at any given time is more intense and more effective and more complicated and more interactive and more of everything than all the thought of all the humans at any given moment. As all the minds together, that's one human body. makes one wonder how the fuck you could accept your mind as anything of a wonder or big or wonderful. Self-honestly, look at it. The production of one fart is more wondrous than all thought of the human race ever. Yes, Listen again. The production of one fart in a human body or an animal body is more wondrous than all thought ever by all humans and all thought that will ever be possible. That's how limited the mind is. That doesn't even fully describe it. So don't get fucked through your ears 
The world is screwed up enough as it is.